All right, let's see how many controversies we can stir up for one season. If we haven't got enough already with Rise and Shield Hero coming back and already having a case of <laughs> now Fumi having to enslave somebody, if that didn't cause controversy, I'm sure the first episode of Skeleton Knight in Another World will cause some controversy, but we'll see. We'll, <laughs> we'll see. But this is my thoughts on the first episode of the series, so let's jump right into it. Yeah, Skeleton Knight in Another World or Gaikotsu Kishisama Taidama Isekai e Ode Kake Chu. This is a series that <laughs> opens up very <laughs> interesting like. I, I get a kick out of the fact that the episode opens up, at least the Crunchyroll version, opens up literally with an, a scene of guys forcing themselves on a woman and immediately it has content warning. <laughs> and it's like, you probably should show the content warning before the actual scene. But yeah, I, like I said before, it's probably going to cause a big crap storm. I mean, if Goblin Slayer didn't cause issues, this is going to cause issues for a lot of people. So there you have it. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how many how mad people get but that was something that i said when we were doing our preview of this series i we watched the pv and the pv literally features like three different females that are all being forced upon by some guy and this main character art comes up and slices the guys in half it seems to be hopefully it's not the case it seems like it's kind of pushing this idea that there's a lot of bad people in this world obviously there's bandits this is a thing that exists in this world that people are bad and he's the one that comes in and saves now Yes, I will admit, I'm going to be a little frustrated if all the females that he gets to his little harem are people that he just saves from being forced upon. That'd be kind of a really easy route to get all the respect to the women. But so far, just this episode, we have <laughs> the one, this this lady of this family, and she's being attacked by bandits, and Ark shows up, slices them in half, and then helps them get back home. And it does look like the girl's really interested in him. He's this huge knight with glowing armor so yeah it essentially jumps back in time goes back to when it first starts out which is basically a player of a video game called Ark he really enjoys this game and he apparently fell asleep while he was playing the game and he wakes up and he's now in that world he's now his avatar so he does eventually realize oh yeah that's right I'm a skeleton which is kind of bad <laughs> <laughs> bad because he's going to be hunted down by everybody in this world so he kind of makes it his point that he's always going to keep his armor on so that nobody knows his identity and he doesn't get chased down by the humans the other interesting thing is that he obviously comes into this world with everything that he had from the video game so he has this really op armor that's like super resistant to so much stuff his weapon's super powerful and not only that but he's also like a mixture between like a holy knight and a priest and he knows the idea that he shouldn't have certain spells, but maybe because he just recently went to Holy Knight, he basically got all the class skills from all the branches before it. So, again, notes, I'm super overpowered. I shouldn't have all this stuff, but cool, <laughs> we'll take it kind of thing. So, And what kind of transpires from this is he's hungry, so he goes to this town. He ends up going to the guild there, this, uh, this mercenary place, and he starts getting quests, but he has to go get a license first, which requires him to take down three of monsters, animals, or bandits. And yeah, he gets some boars, kills an orc, takes out a bunch of bandits to save this girl that's being attacked by these guys, and eventually returns and joins the guild. Now, what kind of transpires throughout this whole ordeal is it's kind of establishing this idea, like I said before, he's trying to keep his identity a secret that he's a skeleton. Um, he's trying to keep a low profile, which is kind of that aspect there as well. And additionally, it seems like the theme or something, the, the mindset that it's going to be attaching to Ark, which he names himself Ark after the game, he seems to be like he enjoys fantasy. Like this seems to be his shtick is that he loves fantasy. So everything he runs into in this world, that super hyper fantasy, he's like, ah, it's, it's fantasy. He keeps saying fantasy. He loves this idea of fantasy. So I really do think that that's going to be the, the the core thing about this main character is that he just wants to enjoy this time. Like he, he sees that guy, he's not really questioning why he's there. He briefly talks about how he fell asleep, but he acknowledges I'm here and he loves all this fantasy. So I don't think it's going to play too heavily on the Isekai element, just really playing on the idea that he's enjoying this time there. So I think if you're looking for an Isekai that's not trying too hard to be, you know, philosophical about his previous life and all that kind of stuff, you're going to kind of find that sort of flavor here. I would kind of equate this to something. <laughs> here's here's my here's my formula. I'm sure there's plenty of people already saying this is basically Ainz in another world. I kind of got that hint too. It's like essentially Overlord having Ainz coming to another world. It, it plays on the idea that he can kill these bandits and not feel anything. And you kind of have that sense with, with Ainz as well. But he's not going for the whole I'm the evil bad guy thing or, you know, the dungeon thing. 
It's just, he's a skeleton knight. He looks pretty much like Heinz. And then you add to that formula, Goblin Slayer, because obviously <laughs> opening up this episode, having women being attacked by bandits. And again, like I said, I think that's going to be a common thing. So if you're, if you don't like that aspect, avoid it, because it seems like that is something, at least again, like I said, prevalent in the PV is him saving women from men forcing themselves on him. So you have the Goblin Slayer aspect in there, kill all the goblins, which are technically bandits. <laughs> And then I would probably put a little hint of ReZero at the very end there, because as he kind of establishes when he goes to this village, he ends up going to some back alleys. He ends up running into this lady. I'm, I'm guessing, I think her name is Ariane. She is going, she is basically looking for information. And there's this guy that she's buying the information from. He's like, I don't have any information, but you know, I never said that I would deliver it. I was looking though. And then he makes a comment about elves. So like that's that, that hint of ReZero there is that, yes, apparently in this world, the beautiful and great elf class or race is not liked. And so... Obviously, Ark's going to be perfectly fine that because that's fantasy. <laughs> he immediately sees this girl and says, oh, it's an elf? Fantasy. Again, he really likes fantasy. I also got a kick out of the fact that when he went to the mercenary group and he was trying to job, they're like, you you have some really amazing armor. Obviously, you're, you're special in some way. Why would you want to work with us? I mean, you can find way better jobs. And he's like, well, it's, it's a long story. It's a secret. You know, I'm doing a secret job for this group. And so... Okay, I won't ask any questions. So they essentially assume it's a job. And then as he's walking away, he's like, man, I got myself a backstory. These, these, this, this attendant and this other guy is talking about, why is this guy here? And he's like, oh, he's probably got a rough life. He's probably got a sick child that he needs to pay for or something like that. And they're like, oh, good luck, skeleton knight. <laughs> or good luck, knight guy. And he's like, well, I got myself a backstory. And they play off that. They play off his armor again additionally later with this whole idea between the, the two girls that he saves and... They're, they're noting the idea that he must be from some sort of, he must be in service of some sort of lord or something like that. So I'm sure that that'll come into play as a joke later on because his armor is like super OP and it's super shiny. It's like in-game content sort of video game sort of armor. So obviously that'll be a big thing and obviously he can't take it off. So he's always getting the attention from it. Visually, I, I'm pretty solid with the show. I, I think it looks fine. Um, I think, yes, the obvious issue is that Ark is pretty much 95% of the time in full CGI and it doesn't look bad it's very smooth looking they didn't really cut too many frames it seems like so it does look quite off from regular standard animation and he kind of in the environment of this 2D world looks pretty standout-ish as well so I was I thought I was gonna be more bothered by it than I end up being I think a lot of the more action scene points they kind of shifted being just really solid like still shots that show velocity and showing the characters that he's slicing up, kind of flying around. Uh, so whenever it does get in action, it doesn't doesn't disappoint, doesn't bug me. So that's a good thing. I, I will note the thing that it probably bugged me the most was at the very end when they show the ED, which I think the ED music was really solid. It, <laughs> it has a CGI Ariane. So apparently they're just going to CGI everybody whenever they're around Ark. So Ariane would be... CGI as well, which that like the CGI skeleton armor knight guy doesn't bug me because it's not a character. It's not an anime character. Whereas, yeah, when he gets, you know, the cute girl, elf girl, she's now CGI. That's going to be where it's going to go. Ugh, ugh, gross kind of look to me. The OP was interesting. <laughs> they went with like a really high energy, uh, very goofy rock music playing for it. Kind of it reminded me a lot of like One Punch Man, kind of that style. But like I said before, the ED, really pretty interested in the ED. I think the music for the ED is pretty solid. So despite the fact that, yeah, CGI elf girl. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. Like so far, like I said, it's not doing anything insane. But at the same time, I enjoy it because it, it just feels very more laid back. It's very, we're an set guy, let's enjoy it kind of thing. This, having a character that's just really kind of focused on just eating up the fantasy of the world that he's in. He's obviously a big gamer and, like I said, a big fantasy fan. So we'll, we'll see how it goes from there again. Aside from the controversies that will probably obviously be following this show around as it goes along. But we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. But that's my thoughts on the first episode of Skeleton Knight in Another World. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below. Comment. Let me know what you thought of the episode. If you're enjoying it or not, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll be covering all the shows of the season with my first impressions of them. So I hope you guys will join me for that. Also, I'll be picking some shows that I want to discuss on a weekly basis to cover. And also some other additional videos that, such as my anime of the year. I think I'm at 2018 so far right now. And anime you may have missed. And news and all that other kind of stuff covering anime. It's all here. Additionally, if you want to support us more, we have a Patreon account and a link to our tips link in our description below. Also a merch site. We definitely appreciate everybody that supports us. And y'all take care.